the curious case of KK Kanye. <laughs> He's a Nazi as far as I'm concerned, all right? You could be dealing, dealing with mental health issues and be a black white supremacist. He still said a lot of anti-Semitic rhetoric. Black people, we don't have no power. We don't have no organization that holds no weight. You can't speak bad about a Jewish person because they have organizations and they're a close-knit group of people in power who will bring you down. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even feel comfortable talking about this. I'm sweating right now. I, I love Jewish people, but they're powerful. I would much rather not even have this conversation. You know why there's not a lot of Jewish rappers? Because there's Jewish owners and Jewish CEOs. They run these labels. <laughs> They're the bosses. That's why. What did Kanye say? He said uh, happy Kwanzaa to all the artists and... Happy Hanukkah to all the label execs. It's the truth. They run, they run the business. If, if something's bad, it's bad. Period. It can't be good when I do it, but bad when you do it. That makes no Amari Stoudemire, six-time All-Star, joining the conversation. Amari, you bring a very unique perspective. Obviously, we all know the success you had with Nash on the court, and then you were an assistant on the Nets, and also you're a black man who is Jewish. What was your reaction to Kyrie? I mean, my initial reaction was what I've noticed throughout the years of Kyrie is that he's a guy who's really trying to find his identity, right? He's on his quest of searching for information and, and knowledge, and what, while, while acquiring this type of information, he got to be more mindful of doing more research, checking your sources, reviewing before you actually, you know, promote anything. It. Right, exactly. And I think that's something that Kyrie's probably lacking right now is that he's not really doing the full vetting of what he's promoting. And I think that's getting him into trouble. Absolutely. That's for our forefathers. They were brought to this nation as slaves. And we are suffering from a serious identity crisis. In one generation, we were called or referred to as color then Negroes, Afro-American, Blacks, and eventually African-Americans. Who are we people? But this is not by accident. This is the hand of God, as it is written. In Deuteronomy 28, verse 36 through 37, the Lord will bring you and the king which was set over you into a nation which you nor your fathers have known. And there you will serve other gods wood and stone, and you will become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations where the Lord will lead you. And this is one scripture out of the entire Bible. I can show you plenty more. With that being said, I ask that this be viewed not merely as a statement, but as a call to action. In the near future, I'll be sponsoring a community development roundtable meeting with some other concerned, proactive community leaders. It's time that we stop thinking as individual persons and begin to mobilize as a unified people. Peace and love, Amari Stoudemire. He keeps making a big thing out of the word promotion. That is promotion. If, if on your social media, you say, boom, here's a link to this, that, that tells me Hey, you should watch this. If you Correct? You're, I mean, he's got 17 million Instagram followers, another 5 million or so on Twitter. You're all over social media. Do you ever put something out there, Shaq, that's, that does not was, represent something that you feel? Do you ever put something out there, Shaq, that's, that does not was, represent something that you feel? Do you ever put something out there, Shaq, that's, that does not was, represent something that you feel? That is promotion. If, if on your social media, you say, boom, here's a link to this, that, that tells me, hey, <clears throat> you should watch this. If you Correct? You're, I mean, he's got 17 million Instagram followers, another 5 million or so on Twitter. You're all over social media. Do you ever put something out there, Shaq, that's, that does not was, represent something that you feel? I was probably one of the first guys on Twitter. And when I realized the power it had, I knew I had to be very responsible. Followers, platform, whatever you call it, I knew I had to be responsible. I, I try to make people happy. I try to make people smile. My, my formula has always been the same. 60% to make you laugh, 30% to inspire you, and 10% whatever I'm selling, I'm selling. You have to be, have to be aware of what you're doing. And you have to be aware that sometimes when you put stuff out, not everybody's going to like it. 
some some people are conscious, some people are not. I could tell he's not conscious. He doesn't really care what, what's going on. But us, I know that that you know the game that we used to love and we promote it brings people together. And it hurts me sometimes when we have to sit up here to talk about stuff that divides the game. Now, now we got to answer for what this idiot has done. Shalom, shalom, Hebrews. Ron Dalton Jr. giving you a special announcement. This Thursday coming up, we're going to be at the Cityplex 12 Theater in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, if you haven't seen the first movie, well, actually, if you haven't seen the second movie, but you've seen the first movie, you need to come out to the Cityplex 12 Theater in Newark, New Jersey. We're going to be showing the movie Hebrews Negroes 2. Revelation, The Age of Awakening, uh, hosted by the Beth L International Church uh, under Dr. Gloria Harris. Um, you want to come out, get your tickets before that date because we have a limited seats that are available. And you want to get your tickets early so that when you come to the door try to get tickets, you're not going to be told it's sold out. So I'm going to say it again. This Thursday coming up in Newark, New Jersey, August 22nd, Thursday. Newark, New Jersey. We're going to come out to the Cityplex 12 Theater. Newark, New Jersey. We're going to come out to the Cityplex 12 Theater. Newark, New Jersey. We're going to come out to the Cityplex 12 Theater. And it hurts me sometimes when we have to sit up here to talk about stuff that divides the game. Now, now we got to answer for what this idiot has done. We got to answer for what this idiot has done. We got to answer for what this idiot has done. <laughs>